The American Federation of Musicians, Local 104, was founded in Utah on December 18, 1901, just five years after the founding of the National AF of M. Since that time, thousands of Utah musicians have benefited from the financial and political influence of the union. Local 104 has, for more than a century, been successful in representing and supporting the rights of Utah musicians, providing bargaining power, as well as effective legal and social support to its members. The period of greatest membership here was during the Roaring Twenties, with most of the work during these peak years including silent film and vaudeville. The AFM took actions to guarantee work for musicians in these venues, but with the passing of vaudeville and the advent of talking pictures, work for these musicians nationwide was greatly reduced, lost primarily to AFM employment in New York and Hollywood. Locally, at that time, venues such as the American Theater, Salt Air Resort, the Orpheum, and a host of small theaters and dinner clubs throughout Utah comprised many of the work sites for union musicians. Later in the century, this would also include the Terrace and Lagoon Ballrooms, the Rainbow Rendezvous, the Coconut Grove, the Fort Douglas Officers Club, as well as KSL and KDYL Radio, which hired their own live orchestras. After the stock market crash of 1929 ushered in the Great Depression and caused mass unemployment, the new administration of Franklin Roosevelt in 1933 had an urgent response to the situation. Two important pieces of legislation signed into law in 1935 helped bring jobs and job security. The Works Progress Administration, WPA, and the National Labor Relations Act. Within the WPA was the Federal Music Project. Part of this program created a series of professional WPA orchestras. One of the orchestras established in March of 1940 was the WPA Sinfonietta, which became better known as the Utah Symphony under the direction of Marisa Bravanel, its music director from 1947 to 1979. Under his directorship, the Utah Symphony became highly acclaimed both nationally and internationally. As their budget and musician salaries increased, the work dues of the expanding orchestra became a proportionately greater part of the income of the local. After World War II and continuing through the 70s, changes in public taste, technological advances, and the reduction of traveling touring groups presented new challenges to the union. Big bands were replaced by small jazz combos, and there was a trend toward small, self-contained rock and R&B groups. Ballrooms and large traveling bands, as well as live radio performance, were becoming a thing of the past, although local TV stations continued to employ small unionized orchestras for a number of years afterward. The former big bands and currently the large live rock bands that perform regularly as house groups for national TV talk shows are the last vestiges of these radio and TV orchestras of the past. Currently, our local's collective bargaining agreements include the Utah Symphony and Opera, the two organizations having merged in 2002, as well as the Ballet West Orchestra. The Utah Symphony remains the flagship professional CBA of our local. Our elected officers are committed to the support of its members so that Utah musicians achieve their goals and are treated with respect and fairness. Organizing in the future will remain a formidable challenge in a state with such strong right-to-work laws. Hi, this is AFM Local 104 President Mike Palumbo. Now that we've learned so much about the rich history of our Musicians Union, let's take a look at today's Local 104. Though we may not be aware of it, our professional musicians are all around us and influence our lives in so many ways. The Utah Symphony, along with Utah Opera, is one of the busiest full-time professional orchestras in the nation and displays some of our finest Local 104 talent almost every week. The Symphony, Opera, and Ballet West have some of the most extensive and acclaimed educational outreach programs in the country. And these programs have a huge impact on all Utah students. As the importance of studying music at a young age is becoming increasingly clear, it is our union members who mentor our children as well as teach those who instruct our children. Our local professional musicians also make up the orchestras at the Broadway shows presented at Pioneer Theatre Company 
And it's hard to imagine all of the musicals that come through Salt Lake City without our local union players working the pit. Our local 104 musicians are also often found volunteering their music in hospitals, shelters, and senior facilities. These professional musicians are your friends and neighbors, and these are the hard-working artists who comprise AFM Local 104.